On October 21st, Turkey's first domestically developed light attack aircraft, Hürjet, made history. It roared across the sky at a supersonic speed, breaking the sound barrier. That's no small feat for a country that just 20 years ago was almost entirely dependent on imports to meet most of its defense requirements. Hürjet is developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, which is at the forefront of developing jets and unmanned combat drones. TRT World had the chance to catch up with the CEO of the company at Saha Expo. The international exhibition showcases Turkey's growing strength in the defense and aerospace industries. It's an advanced jet with a large area display, all uh, uh, fly-by-wire wire, uh, controls, all the avionics, uh, the state-of-the-art uh, communication and uh, mission uh, plat uh, the equipment is on Hürjet uh, currently. But the road to Hürjet was a long journey, the result of years of work that began with the Hürkuş training aircraft, which took to the skies for the first time in 2013. And now, Turkish Aerospace Industries is pushing the boundaries even further by developing a more advanced Hürjet prototype. The second prototype will be flying by the end of the month. It can be utilized or used for both missions, either for training or small uh, light uh, attack uh, missions uh, to protect uh, the country. Everything that the company has done so far, from Hürkuş to Hürjet, is part of a larger program to develop Turkey's most prized defense project yet, the Khan fighter jet. This fifth-generation fighter jet is being developed domestically with cutting-edge technology and Demiroğlu has set his sights even higher. It's a stepping stone for the sixth generation, where all the sensors, all the data, all the network, all the unmanned platforms will be in operation together with Khan. Their work on the Khan jet has also placed Turkey among an elite group of nations that can develop such an advanced flying machine. We can easily say that we are uh, either in leading edge or among the top two, three countries or companies which are uh, working on a uh, sixth generation platform. Uh, by the time we start delivering uh, Khan, inshallah, by the end of the decade, these technologies will be ready and will be uh, going to sixth generation much faster than uh, the others. Khan is set to boost Turkey's defense exports further building on the already strong global interest in the country's aviation and defense products. They want to uh, know more about our platforms. They want to know about our success, how we did this. In such a short uh, time, we are get, receiving a lot of uh, interest, uh, serious interest, not just uh, information uh, collection. This next generation fighter jet is expected not just to protect the Turkish airspace, but also to propel the country on the international stage. Of course, Khan is uh, the king of the sky. It will have pretty much everything that a flying platform can have.